the joy of the jam deadheads have always embraced it. And so they embrace the Grateful Dead tribute band, the China Cats. Each performance is a new, communal journey. There's one coming up on December 29 at Redwood City's Club Fox. The term tribute band can mean a lot of different things, from lookalikes to carbon copy sound to simply using the original artist's work as a jumping off point. The China Cats fall more into that last category. Grateful Dead music has become a genre, said lead guitarist slash vocalist Matt Hartle, reached by phone at his home in Santa Cruz. It's like in jazz, there are standards. Grateful Dead has become the same way. There are certain roles with the instrumentation. The China Cats, we play straight Grateful Dead sets and in understanding the genre, there's a real trick to knowing what is essential to making the song be that song. Then the rest of it, there's so much room for improvisation. The China Cats started in 2008, with Hartle joining in 2010. Having studied jazz at the University of North Texas, he relishes the band's proclivity for spontaneity. It's not just about one person taking a solo. It's about a group improvisation and a group dynamic at all times. On these tunes, anything can happen. There are certain things that are specific, and certain things that are wide open to interpretation. It's never about going back. It's always looking to the present moment that we are having. Every time the China Cats play a song, it's a new experience. We are not playing the 1973 version of the song or the 79 or the 92 version. We are playing the 2017 version of the song. The China Cats attract a wide age range. At our shows, there's people that were there for Grateful Dead concerts and people who are just getting into the band now. It's a very universal type of music. Grateful Dead music has a timeless appeal. Hartle points to the songwriter as one reason for that appeal. Grateful Dead music is not about anything immediately topical. It's about age-old concepts, about just being a human being on planet Earth. Jerry Garcia's inventive, eclectic playing was also key to the Dead's allure. He started off as a banjo player, Hartle said. That's another timeless thing about it. He and David Grisman picture a person with Spanish ancestry and a Jewish guy, both hippies, traveling in the Deep South, in like 1971, hunting down Appalachian music. So that kind of folk thing is there in the Dead's music, too, but then completely psychedelicized. Grateful Dead captures the true spirit of Americana, because all types of music are represented, from folk to reggae to disco. It runs the gamut Hartle, who grew up in rural Pennsylvania, didn't have to take a crash course on the Dead when he joined China Cats. Throughout the course of my life, Deadheads have always just been there for me, teaching me these songs and the music has seeped in organically. Hartle displays a knack for dazzling with Garcia-style riffs. And renowned Santa Cruz luthier Scott Walker helped Hartle match the purity of Garcia's guitar tone. Seeing the dead play live for the first time was a revelation for Hartle.